Hi guys, today we are going to make a timer in the Google Forms, just like you making a quiz. So first of all, we should go to Google Forms using our Google account. Here I am using my Google account to get to Google Forms. So type in Google Forms in the search bar, then go to the link, the first link, click on that link. Then you should be redirected to the Google Forms website. Go to Google Forms. And then, oh, uh, for you, I am making a sample form. So I am clicking on the blank form. And here you can see the Google Forms page. By clicking on the blank form, then you the blank form appear. So here I am typing something like, um, <laughs> I have something in QS on sp space exploration. QS on space exploration. Provide a simple description. What is the description? Um, is it easy? Yeah, difficult. Not that difficult. Yes, it's not that difficult. It will be very easy for everyone. And we have some sample questions. Only to make you understand what we are doing. We are set, just setting up the timer. So, uh, so, these are the four options. Then let's make another question. Uh, this is just sample question. You should make your own questions while preparing for a QSR and something um, Google Forms. Usually uh, when we are doing Google Forms so often there is will be timers and they are often um, commercial like we usually call, you want to pay or something to make it um, maybe they, they can they can hold many forms and also the responses may be limited. So here we are using something that is very free to use. Um, so uh, th there is an add-on. So far I have only create an add-on for email notification which will be default by the Google and so we click on these three buttons and click on add-ons and here it is um, so this, this is the form limiter first one is uh, maybe uh, they, are, they are providing limit on forms and also uh, the use and here um, I look, I'm looking for some form timer um, yes here it is a form timer by G clock this is the thing that we want to use. Uh, so far, 241 reviews, uh, 1.5 million has downloaded them. And so, click on install and continue with your Google account. And click on allow. And it will be installed um, in Google. So, click on done and then close the tab we go to our forms and on and clicking on the add-ons we can we can see the form timer that we have installed now click on the form timer and click on configure so you want to set the time limit maybe i am setting this uh, case for about 10 minutes maybe and after clicking on uh, configure we can see an enable button enable the add-on then go to continue continue to form timer then the form timer page will be and this is an external website um that, that is provided by the add-on and here want here you want to uh, log in with the uh, google account and then then it will be added to the g clock site here we can see uh, our our form okay the question space exploration click on it it will be open and then we should set up here then there are click on the setup then uh, our duration is by default 45 minutes um, maybe i want to search for 10 minutes click on 10 um, and then click on save here here uh, the timer has come uh, while we are previewing it so um this is not the link that we want to click to see the to see the timer or we want to this is not the link that we want to uh, send to the um, participants 
uh, once you are using the gold comps so we go we go to the cloud side then let's go up the testing testing is copied this is the link that we want to send to the uh, participants so i take a tab and i just copy the we have to leave this uh, and then i took a tab and i copied the link and under the site and some folks some maybe there will be a login with mail uh login with your google account here it is 10 minutes has come the timer has been set and uh, this is the um, link that we want to send to the participants here the timer is on and also we um well and here we are answering the um, questions so let's say click on lm strong and then uh, maybe sometimes this i click on submit and then it is a, a, a responsive record and it is successfully submitted then we go to we want to check whether it is a, a submitted from time here it is we can see the uh, timer and also time the time taken for so and we want to check on our google forms yes there is a response is recorded so back so thank you guys for watching the video